This video will show how to adjust the printer for optimal print quality. This will include mechanical adjustments such as ribbon tension, head pressure. In addition, there are menu settings that include print intensity and print speed. You can also use the built-in print quality wizard to guide you through step-by-step -step through the process. Before making changes to adjust for print quality, make sure that the media and ribbon are compatible and are matched to the requirements of your application. Once the media and ribbon have been selected, it is important to adjust the printer so that there is a uniform pressure across the entire printing width. As you make adjustments, you can use some of the test patterns built into the printer to confirm good print quality. Using a gray pattern, we can see two obvious problems with this label. Ribbon wrinkle, plus the ink is too light on the right side and too dark on the left. Incorrectly adjusted print head pressure can lead to uneven darkness of the two sides of the media and incorrectly adjusted head pressure knobs can also cause a ribbon wrinkle. We suggest adjust the knobs for even pressure. Adjust the left and right print head pressure knobs when changing to media and ribbon with a different width. When using a 4 inch wide printer model with a 4 inch wide media or a 6 inch model with a 6 inch wide media, adjust both print head pressure knobs left and right to the same level. When using media that is half or less than half of the printer model width, increase left print head pressure by adjusting the knob clockwise and increase the right head pressure by adjusting the knob counterclockwise. It is recommended that users adjust the print head pressure to the lowest value which produces the desired print quality. Die cut labels usually require a setting of 1 to 3, while thicker stock requires a setting of 3 to 5. Head pressure will likely need to be adjusted when changing to a media with a different thickness. Because the printer's ribbon alignment is referenced to the left side of the mechanism, different ribbon or media widths require different tension to print correctly. Therefore, ribbon tension screw adjustment may be required to get the best print quality. The ribbon tension adjustment screw is located on the front right side of the pivoting deck and controls a rod that the ribbon rides over. A flat blade screwdriver is used to adjust the screw and position the right side of the rod. Clockwise screw rotation reduces ribbon tension and the counterclockwise rotation increases the tension. You can view the rod's position via a slot on the right side of the pivoting deck. The center of the slot is the default position for the rod when using full width ribbon. For the best print quality, set the speed to the slowest speed that still meets your throughput needs. For the longest print head life, set the print quality intensity to the lowest setting that gives you a good print quality. Too low a print intensity will appear too light and have voids. Too high of a print intensity can cause bleeding or smearing of the image and cause ribbon breakage. Under the Print Tools menu, you can choose the checkerboard print test to check for voids, light printing, bleeding, or smearing. For additional T6000 product information, visit PrintronicsAutoID.com.